original settlers here. Amazing piece of history. Today we're in the town of Yarmouth, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. We're going to be taking a walk through the Yarmouth Ancient Cemetery. Now from what I understand, the oldest gravestone here is that of Margaret Miller and it dates back to 1698. So let's take a walk around and see what we can find. some type of placard on this stone here. Original site of the first Congressional Church of Yarmouth, gathered in 1639. Here lies buried the body of Anthony Paddock, who was drowned in Vineyard Sound on that very cold day, February 13th, 1731. memory of Mr. Thomas Hedge, who died November 19th, 1795. Last stone was obviously a reproduction, as clean as it was. You can tell that it's not original from 1795, but this one here, I would say definitely is. You can see it's broken off at the top and there's not much info you can get from it, but if you look closely, I believe I found the date is here. 1795 so there you have it an original stone from the 1700s this is a little family plot here it looks like you can see within this fenced in area unfortunately the sun is behind the stones so it's giving me really bad lighting to try and read these on camera but we're gonna walk around and hopefully we can get some from the 1600s memory of Mr. Samuel Corham, who departed this life May 2nd, 1789. It's quite small, this one. You can tell it's had some repairs done to it. In memory of Hannah, wife of Mr. Thomas M, died, if you look closely, I believe, 1778. Yeah. Nathaniel, son of Thomas and Judith Smith, aged six months and 27 days, died December 26, 1746, lies buried here. Wow. Here's a couple under this tree well protected. This one I can't read anything on. And over here, here lies the body of Mary Matthews, wife of Samuel Matthews, who died in 1764. Up ahead here we have a public tomb sign just above get out of the sun here public tomb erected 1868 interesting and there's some holes here some windows and a fresh lock as well I wonder if it's being used take a peek in there hmm. I noticed this big monument here as I was driving in uh, it must be of some significance all right let's head over there and see what's on this that with me. The light is working in our favor this time. Sacred to the memory of Richard Sears. At the bottom here it says, he landed at Plymouth in 1630, married Dorothy Thatcher and died in Yarmouth in 1676. Just after the Mayflower arrived in 1620, 10 years later.
another one under this tree here in memory of Miss Thankful Matthews. Departed this life March 18th, 1782. Here lies buried the body of Thankful Hallett, wife of Enoch Hallett, died 1778. All right, well, I'm looking for graves that go as far back as the 1600s and haven't found one yet, but this is getting close. Here lies the body of, not sure, John Miller, who deceased June 1711. Now, if I'm not mistaken, at the beginning of the video, didn't I say Margaret Miller was the oldest stone? So this is her family here. I'm going to have to keep searching around this area and see if I can find some from the 1600s, maybe even Margaret herself. And sure enough, here we have it. Here lies the body of Margaret Miller, wife to John Miller, deceased October 26th. focus here 1698 hmm. here lies buried the body of John Hall who died March 21st, 1735. In memory of Miss Thankful Hedge, widow of William Hedge. She died May 15th, 1825, in the 81st year of her age. That's the second time I've read that name, Thankful. I've never heard that before. Nice looking old stone here, the way it's aged. Here lies buried Joseph Ha, who died 17... 39 or 1759 I guess that says here's another one from the Miller family aged just four years died in 1717 in memory of mr. Joseph Ryder he died in 1789 Here lies buried the body of Lydia Thatcher, late wife of John Thatcher, who departed this life August 1744, in the 83rd year of her age. So she was born in the 1600s as well. Wow, these are some of the original settlers here. Amazing piece of history. This old cemetery is lots of stories to tell. We have a World War I veteran, Roy L. Spring, Massachusetts, HA2, U.S. Navy, World War I, October 4th, 1894 to August 18th, 1970. This is interesting as well. One solitary stone. And it looks like it's been hand carved. April Joy White, 1978. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching.